Oh, well, hi guys. What an interesting day. Um, so I actually went to my college and I dropped my course and I met with an advisor and he signed me up for this course. And of course, and of course, 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 <sighs> it was, it had a class today. And so as, as our meeting with the advisor, or as our meeting was over, you know, the class started to get over, and he goes, go, go over there, go find the teacher and ask her for the stuff, and I'm like, okay, fine, so I run all the way to the business building, she's not there, so I go to the business faculty offices, of course, doesn't have an office in that, so I run all the way back to the, the normal, like, liberal arts center, she's not in that office either, by the way, that, the, they have a maze, where all their faculty offices is, it's like this, it goes all the way over, and they're like really tiny hallways, it's crazy, yeah, it was just, I was like, oh my god, like, what am I doing, and then I get there, and the inner colleague is just really bitchy, I was like, how, how would I leave a message, you just want me to like, write a note or something, she goes, well, you could write her a note, or drop something in her mailbox, and I'm like, you know what, scary you, I'll just send an email, so I sent an email, and yeah, I, now I can't even pay for the course because something's going on. This college is so dumb. I just, you know, I really want to play Yoshi's Island, but I can't. I got to study world history. Holy cow, I'm sorry I dropped you. I dropped you guys. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I dropped y'all. I feel so terrible. Yeah, my iPhone is weird. Um, Stendar is feeling floaty today, so she's floating on her belly. Yeah, she's all upside down. Poor girl. Now, if you do have goldfish and they're floaty, you can feed them peas. See, I have a feeling Stendar does it for attention, because she doesn't usually do it at night. Because she knows I'm asleep, so she won't get the attention. But she does it when I'm awake, because I go over there and I go, Oh, no, stand up, come on, it's okay. And then she's like, oh, okay. And then she flips back. Like, watch. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you're the cutest. See? I mean, she could obviously, you know, still have it, but... You can feed them frozen peas that you um, uh, boil or just let thaw. Shell the pea so that like the outer casing is off the pea. Kind of mush it and drop it in the tank and they will eat it because they're, they're pigs. Um, yeah. My room's kind of a mess by the way. Like I'm not showing you guys the floor. So I keep all my stuff. My crochet area. I don't even know if you guys can see it. I can't see what's on the phone right now. That that's that's just I don't know where to put all my yarn. I don't. I I actually I don't know if I've told you, but I'm selling these hats. Hats like these. So seven fifty. Uh just for this kind of yarn though. This is the red heart yarn. It's 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 inexpensive but it's soft. Once you wear it enough it it gets soft. The variegated yarn which is like dyed different colors. Like, uh, I don't have any variegated yarn with me right now. But it's the yarn that's, it's one type of yarn, but it has different colors in it. That's not soft at all. So if, I, I, my whole thing is, you get to choose the yarn. So if you choose an extremely expensive yarn, like, do I have it with me? Like this. This is about ten bucks a skein. This is a skein. Yeah, you will have to pay that difference because that's, that's expensive. So the, the, if I make a hat out of this, which I, I'll actually show you because I made my mom one, um, you have to pay a little bit uh, extra, probably like 11 bucks for a hat. So it's still not that bad for a hat. I mean, those ones that you buy at Target are like $16. These are actually really warm, too. This thing keeps my head warm, and I wear it constantly. Like, this is the first vlog I've done where I'm not wearing my TRG hat. It's crazy. But mostly I make hats. I also made this scarf for my friend. It's Hufflepuff. It's pretty long. It's very chunky, thick yarn that was just a pain in the butt. 
It's just is just single crochet. It's very simple, very easy. It it really didn't take that long. It took me like like a month to make because I didn't like work on it all that much. And then I also make blankets. Now these are expensive because they take forever. This is my blanket. I'm not even close to being done with it. As Sorry, I don't really know where this camera is going. As it gets bigger, it gets harder to work on. You literally need like a lot of space and just to work. It's it's just it's hard to work on because it gets heavy and you're carrying this metal aluminum hook. It's hard. It's hard to do. But it's really this is really soft yarn. This is about this is called homespun yarn. It's about six dollars a skein by Lion Brand. Lion Brand's my favorite type of yarn. Uh, but this is homespun and I already told you the price and so blankets are really expensive if you want me to make you a blanket I mean I definitely will but they are really expensive because they, they're just so labor intensive this is my Gryffindor shawl this is actually the first thing I ever made and it turned out to something I can wear and it's really nice it really is I love it it's wonderful it's really not that great though because you know, it's the first thing I ever made, so the stitching is really th this bad. But I can do it better now. And it's really nasty yarn. Oh, I found a skein to show you what variegated is. This is not Red Heart Super Saver, so it's actually soft. This is Canon. Karin, sorry. This is what variegated yarn looks like. This stuff is expensive. So, um, wool yarn is not soft, by the way. I mean, it's squishy and soft, but it's really coarse. I mean, alpaca wool, though, is very soft. Well, if you want soft, I would go with expensive acrylic yarn, because that tends to be softer than wool. Wool is just warm. Um, I am going to be starting to make amigurumi animals, too. And I'm going to be making amigurumis of, like, every Animal Crossing character ever. Which I can't wait to do. Hey, Claudius, will you stop nuzzling butts? Will you stop nuzzling butts? So, I'll be launching my Etsy store very soon. I just need help from my mama. I know. she's 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 got all the info for the bank account. I don't, okay? I mean, I may be 20, but I'm still a kid. I don't know any of this shit. So, um... Yeah, I'll be launching that, and then I'll link it to this video right here in the bottom when I launch it. So it may not be for a couple of days, but I will do it soon. Then I'll be getting a P.O. box, which will I will mail from. Because, no offense, guys, but none of you need my address. And, um, yeah. Have fun. See ya. Bye-bye. Love you. All of you. You're all awesome. Have a nice day. Bye.